Hey there, Internet Keeve here, and welcome to the Cars with Keeve YouTube channel. I'm going to do something that I've never done before, and that's put an Armor All chemical on my car. Now, we've tried the Armor All foam cannon, which was okay. It wasn't great, but we have this Armor All car wash right here. Now, if you have kids or younger siblings, you know that in elementary school, they always do for Christmas those little shops, right? That you give the kid uh, 20 bucks or whatever it is, and they learn a little bit about budgeting money, trying to buy Christmas gifts for the family. And my son picked Armor On because he knows I love washing cars so much. Now, even though I'm so into car detailing, I really never used that many different types of soap chemicals. I've used the uh, Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam and a few others, but I've been using G-Technic products for a long time. They're local to the area. They're not far from where I live. I know the people that work there, and I know the products work, and the coatings that I have on the car is that product. These are made specifically for it. Now, it says it leaves a little bit of shine behind, so there's got to be some kind of additive or something they put in here on top of the car wash. That's not really something that I like. I really don't like that being in my soap. I want my soap to clean. So before we get any further into the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. Let's get right into the testing. Okay, so I apologize for the lighting, but this is all I got this time of year. Sun just hits me right in the face in the driveway. So I filled this one up with a thousand milliliters of distilled water. And then I filled this one up with it and filled this one up back with a thousand. So they both have 1000 milliliters. We have 100 milliliters each of soap in these. I don't know the concentration level between the two. If one's more concentrated than the other, this is... I can't really do an apples to apples comparison. We're gonna use the MJJC Pro top for both. So we're just gonna move it back and forth. Make sure we clear it out before we move across. We'll make sure we do that. Uh, and then we'll just do one side of the trunk here and then do the other side and see what happens. Now the armor all is much like a yellowy, definitely more liquidy. And the citrus foam is more clear and definitely a little more gel. You can see how dirty this car is. We did a little bit of overspray here when we were washing the side of the car for a different video. But you can see the dirt level. So just for reference, this is a 1.1 millimeter in this one here. I have this specifically for testing with 1.1. We have that 100 milliliter to 1000 milliliter, so it's less than 10 to 1. Let's see what's going to happen here. We're going to do this side this way with the armor all. Okay, so now let's purge the soap out of this. There we go, switch bottles. You can tell already the armor all is not a very foamy one, unless it, I guess, requires a much better dilution. Yeah, it's a big difference, and I didn't actually spray as much on there. Um, they're both considered all-purpose soaps. Uh, one does foam a whole heck of a lot better than the other, but that doesn't mean everything because um, the size of the soap bubbles doesn't matter. It's the lubricity and how it carries dirt off the surface. That's why O&R barely has any bubbles, but it's still as good as it is for micro-scratching. Now we're going to let them sit about the same amount of time. We're going to let them soak down, but let's bring you in a closer look. So from a foam therapy point of view, obviously the g W4 wins in that dilution. I don't think any dilution ratio is going to make that foam like that. Now, that does not mean it won't clean better though. So we got to find that out. They both dwelled about the same amount of time. The armor will actually dwelled a little bit longer because I sprayed it first. Uh, but when we're going to wash it, we're going to just use the same stream across. The car is curved, so one area might get a little bit closer than the other. But I'm going to try to keep the same steady flow back and forth. We're gonna keep the same distance, and then we're just gonna come back and see what dirt level is left on the car before we do our bucket wash. Well, I figure the best way to check is to just wipe from three different spots on the front of a microfiber on one side, bring it to the camera, then do the same thing on the other side as well. One thing I do notice is the g technic side, the citrus foam side, is the beads are a little bit tighter, uh, especially up here on the window. So I'm gonna fold, we'll just take a swipe.
we'll do right here. And then we'll do right there. Not that much dirt really. Uh, it's mainly just wet right here. You can see some dirt on this side over here, here. Pretty decent. Let's check the other side. We're gonna turn to this side. Do a wipe across. Do one right here. And one right there. Not too bad here either. I do see a little bit more dirt on these outskirts here and at the end than I do on this side. So I would say that the g Technic Citrus Foam actually cleans a little bit better from a snow foam. So we're not gonna be entirely scientific on this part either, but these buckets do have the exact same amount of water in it. I filled it to a line on this bucket, poured it in here, then filled this one up to the exact same line. So there's maybe a little bit over a gallon in this bucket, but we're just gonna pour the entire diluted solution of the car foam in here. It's not really car foam. I think this is where this may shine more. Who knows? It's meant uh, for a car wash. Uh, I don't know if it's really meant for a foam cannon. This one really isn't either. Uh, this is just an all-purpose citrus. They call it citrus foam. Now we'll agitate both. As you can see, the bubble-wise, this has a little less. Uh, but who knows? We have the exact same mitt for both sides. Dunk them in there. Let's get to washing. Okay, so G Technic side, just like before, armor all side. We're going to do a hatch. We'll do, uh, we'll go across this way. Then we'll go up and down. Do that on the other side as well. Then we'll let it dwell for a little bit. Rinse it off. We'll come back with a drying towel and see which one's dirtier. Well, this is really frothy. This is good stuff. So we'll go across. We are not scrubbing. We are just easily going across the panel as best we can. We are not flipping. We're just gonna do this whole panel with one side. Then we'll flip to go up and down. I always like to do it this way, especially in testing because sometimes you miss a spot. If you do a hatch pattern, you usually never miss a spot. There we go. Do the other side. This is frothy a little bit too. It's definitely less uh, soap. Just from a feel standpoint, I definitely feel more confident with the G Technic. It just seems like it, you know, has a little better protective layer for your wash minutes so you're not you know micro scratching now one thing i will say is this car is coated with easy coat almost every single wash so the foam wash gets most of it off there's not much left for the mitt. Don't do that. I hate those stupid sensors. Hit stupid sensor. Word of advice when you're doing this, it's probably not best to have the key in your pocket so it gets those sensors to go off like it just did. Now the biggest thing to tell once you do a mitt wash from just a foam wash is how much more the car beads and uh, repels the water because there's just a little bit of things that a foam wash just doesn't get off. The mitt wash gets the car completely clean. So instead of a drying towel, we're just going to use a G-Technic microfiber. We're going to take it and fold it like this and then we're just going to wipe it like a blade the whole side of the car. We'll flip it over and do the opposite side. We'll be able to see the dirt level. Pretty good, not a whole lot of dirt. A little bit here and there, but not bad. Now we're gonna use the opposite side, which is dry.
This side about the same, about what I expected. There's a pocket of dirt right here. In the end, if you do a foam and a mitt, I would say in the end, you're gonna get the same result, right? Once you get to that mitt wash, um, it's just good to get cleaned. Uh, I think there's no way to judge how well the soap's protected. I'm not gonna come out here with a meter and try to figure out the you know swirls before and the swirls after and all that kind of stuff. So is it pretty good? Well, after a foam and a mitt, just about all the dirt was gone. That's exactly what you're looking for. But like I said before, I can't really judge how well it protected the car. We do know from a cleaning standpoint that the G-Technic was better. It got more dirt off the car on that initial foam. Now, this claims it's good for road dirt grime and everything. Obviously, it's much cheaper. You could use more of this. Now, obviously, the G-Technic worked way better. Those are professional grade products. Uh, those are really, really good, but on a budget, this can work. And it got the car clean after that mitt wash. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. So, I usually don't... Now, I don't use too many different kinds. Now, I don't use many different... So before we get any further into the video, go hit... So before we get any further into the video, go hit... Now, if many of you have... Now, if you have siblings or... Now, if you have siblings or children... Now, if you have... We have two bottles here with both the threads, same. Th so I filled this one up a thousand milliliter with this. But when it comes to removing dirty, it, so from us. So they both dwelled about, they both dwell, so they both dwelled about the same amount of time. Actually the. Okay, so, okay, so they both, so they both, but I do know the same amount of dilution ratio that I can you get. Now I do know from a dilation, now, oh my God. a whole uh you know mitt wash mitt. oh my gosh we do know just from a cleaning standpoint that compared to we do know that from a com we do know from a complete oh my gosh